Hey, hey, this is your h track Poppy here, guys. Thank you for tuning in. And today, we're talking about how to, th to use reducers on Terminal D, or I'll say Port D. Guys, we're using a reducer. It looks something like this. And let me tell you, read the manual, because the manual will help you out. It tells you everything right here you need to know. Connections, what size. So just a little recap. Guys, make sure you check the model of the condenser, which this tells you right here. It's a 4MXM. It's a 4MXM right over here. And we're talking about specifically Terminal D because we want to do a connection. We're not using 24,000 BTU indoor unit. We're using a 12,000 BTU. However, the connections are different. So what are we doing? We're going to put a reducer. So we're going to put a reducer so we can connect a, a line set of 3.8. So let me show you guys. So it tells you right here. We're going to use this. This is a, um, number three. In the, in the manual and explain to you how to use this reducer. So notice that this is your copper line says, we're gonna use this as a demonstration. Take this out. All right, guys, listen, it's very simple. So again, this is connecting, this side is gonna be connecting to your condenser and this side is coming from your indoor unit. Think of it this way. When you finish cutting the copper tubing, it's gonna look like that. When you flare it, it's gonna look like this. But guys, you always gotta make sure that before you do any flares, you gotta slide in the actual flare nut, right? So make sure you make sure you put the flare nut, you put your gasket, and then you flare. Why? Because if you do not do it, it's supposed to look like this at the end of the day, just assuming that we have that on. If you do not do that, you're working backwards, and but you'll figure it out, guys, because you can't connect. All right, so let's get started. So let's see. All right, so this is your, your flare nut on this. Right here is telling me that we have to use a gasket. The gasket we're using here is this number six. Number six, where is it? It's right over here. And it's showing you this little gasket here. It's, it's a piece of little copper. It looks something just like this. That's your gasket right there. So we're gonna put this on this right over here. Take a look. It looks something like this. So this piece of copper sits on this, just like that. Now. As soon as we do that, notice that it tells you put the reducer. This is the reducer. So if you, I mean, sorry, this is your reducer. So notice you could do it this way. You can put it this way. It's a little hard to do, but you can put it inside here or here, whatever's easier for you. Put that on. So it takes care of that connection. And it says here to connect the flare nut on this reducer, which is already here. So this is pretty easy, guys. This is pretty straight, simple, you know, straightforward. So this is 3 8 Your line set, you're going to flare it. Look something like this. All right? So when you when you uh, cut your pipe, you flare it. It's going to look something just like that. That's how it's supposed to look like. And, of course, it connects to here. And that's how you connect a 3 8 copper line set to this reducer to connect to Terminal D. So guys, it doesn't have to be that difficult. The biggest thing I'll tell everybody is you got to repay attention detail, or if not, you can call somebody like myself or anybody local that can help you out to make you understand how to read the manual. Because sometimes it could get a little confusion. But guys, the good thing is because the H-Track pop here. Hit me up, 516-277-5200. Woo!